All right, today's topic, uh, we are going to be reacting to this creator's content. Uh, he um, threatened to uh, take down our stuff and have uh, strikes and violations against us. And so I'm like, all right, well, let's go to court. And he said, don't pull react to any of my stuff so i was like all right i'm gonna react to your whole channel so uh <laughs> so this is one of his uh, older videos is that darius m <laughs> yeah 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 he likes to uh mess with the copyright system and try to uh misuse it uh this one is called destroy her ego so you know it's gonna be good listen like the video share the video like the video share the video but don't judge the video <laughs> This segment is going to be about knocking a woman off her pedestal, destroying her ego. A woman's ego is, is huge. For years, her whole life, she's been told she's attractive, she looks good, that she must be humbled. She must be brought down to earth. This is not red pill, blue pill, this is just toxic pill. Yes. <laughs> Listen, if someone has their head in the clouds, it's not your obligation or your duty to bring them down. That's what petty people do, where they just approach a girl and then she'll be like, I ain't interested. And then we're like, well, the f you didn't right that's what you're talking about it's like yo if a girl says you're not even she's rude just walk away why would you bring that kind of headache into your life to start arguing with somebody in the street why would you go out of your way to say something terrible to somebody just to remind them like oh you're you're too you think you're too good it's who cares inviting that into your life is inviting unnecessary drama if someone is arrogant be it a man or a woman the idea that you think it's your job to lower their self-esteem is wild to me you're a toxic person too and you need to be humbled you think it's your duty to manage other people's self-esteem did i miss something now now i have to say i do agree to not put anyone that's man woman that's stars yourself? that is youtubers that is yourself because because when you say yeah knock it off it's better because if, if, when you feel it's your duty you're putting yourself at the place of that pistol that's the thing there's a lot of people i had some discussion with some people and they think like you know that's the rip pill the rip, the, the rip pill is hating on that's not what it is that is a misconception of what it is. That That is not what the red pill is about at all. The red pill movement is really a response to the flaws and the things that are, the, 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 the things that are lacking in the equality mm. discussion that the, well, the womanism doesn't, doesn't attend. Red pill is just being, <clears throat> not being disillusioned anymore about the reality of the world. Now, for some people that can look different. Mm. You might see it that way. They could see it as, Fair. you know, you gotta knock him down. You gotta go for 18 year olds because so someone turns 18 every single day. Like that could be their truth. They're not disillusioned about 30 year old women. So, so it is subjective to some degree. I got four tips today. Number one, text her one day. Hey, this isn't, this isn't gonna work out. Simply because every man she's dealt with and been with, she's left them. So when you tell her this out of the blue, or uh, just anytime she, she does something foolish. That's the manipulation. Well, hold up, hold up, That's hold up. Maybe, maybe I'm if you tell her this every time she does something foolish, if you do this, why would you constantly have to retell this person that you're going to leave them? At some point, they're just not going to believe you. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not going to believe you. Listen, <laughs> if someone's acting foolish and you, and you will just leave, and if they ask you why, you can certainly tell them, like, hey, you're being extremely inappropriate at certain times, or when we're in public, you act a fool. That's not, that's not red pill. Like, you're just being honest with the person. <laughs> you know what I don't get? I've broken up with most of the people I've dated, right? I've never thought of myself as red pill, and I certainly didn't do it to destroy their ego. I did it to preserve myself. See? I was in a situation I didn't like, so I left. I didn't live thinking it's my responsibility to teach her a lesson. I'm like, no, this is not good for me, so I'm going to remove myself. I don't think there's anything wrong with what he's suggesting you do. I think there's something wrong with the reasons why. Mm. Even if you're not, if you, even if you don't mean it, tell her, hey, it's not gonna work out, good luck. <laughs> Even if, even if you don't mean that, it, that's, that is the, you know, that is, that's the epiphany of toxic. It's not, it's beta as hell. <laughs> you, you're yeah. lying to ruin her ego. Like, what are you doing? Yo. If you guys think this is good advice, hey man, God bless you. But I'm sorry, this, <laughs> you're not supposed to say God bless you. He's supposed to say, hey, if you, if you think this is good advice, bless your heart. <laughs> Difference. Number two, give it a and don't text her back. This destroys her ego. <laughs> Sleep with someone you don't like to lower her self-esteem. Imagine what kind of self-esteem you have to have to think this is a healthy way to live and to disrespect yourself. To sleep with someone you don't respect. Crazy, bro. It's wild. Her ego is attached to her. When you f 
her, you take her soul. You take everything she has. Everything of value is all invested in her. So when you her and you don't text and call her back and like a simp. You're a simp for calling her back after you slept with <laughs> her. Man, it's you remember crazy. when I, you know when there's a new word coming out? Uh -huh. I, remember when I said that? There's yeah. a new word coming out? Yeah. And people at some point gonna throw that everywhere. Like it's Frank's, Frank, Frank's Red Hot. That's what this is. See, this is what I think. I think this is an extreme reaction. You know? I feel like men have seen a lot of entitlement from women and they've seen a lot of issues hey. in that regards and all this power that's kind of being shifted. And they think the right response is to go to the opposite end oh, and yes. to be an extremist in that regards, right? Rather than finding a middle ground where you respect and you assert your boundaries, but you also don't need to be completely an asshole because what you end up making is women who are jaded on the other end. And so you just polarize the two extreme ends. It's like what you're seeing in the political landscape you just, of America, right? Like, if you sleep with women and then don't call them back, well, guess what that breeds? That breeds to the F-boy movement where they're like, all the men I've been with, they ain't sh You guys are participating in the creation of that kind of idea. It's a circle. Right? It, it, the, there a is a middle ball. ground where you can just sleep with people you do respect. And if you think someone's got too big of an ego, you avoid them. No, you that's to, being a simp. But, but you, oh, to me, it's crazy, bro. Like, I listen to some of this stuff and I'm, I'm like... I feel, I feel like a lot of people have listened to a couple of YouTube videos from certain gurus and they've tried to assimilate those ideas and they've done it incorrectly. I think there's a lot of legitimate ideas to some of the red pill community, but this guy's terrible at what he does. Uh, number four, tell her she's fat. <laughs> this is the number... Oh, this is the segment where you hear the floor crack because I need to walk this one off. Tell her she's what? <laughs> Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe the logic is because so, because some women say a man is too short. That yay for you should engage in the same toxic behavior. It's crazy, bro. I think people love playing in the mud. That's what I'm starting to realize. They see they, they see some trash behavior, and their response to it is like, I'm also going to engage in trash behavior. If you tell a woman she's fat, her whole life revolves around her image, how she looks. Yeah, let's give people eating disorders. Let's encourage depression and stuff in all kinds of people. Like, look. I advocate against the idea when women say stuff about men's height and they're disrespectful. I always say it's wrong for women when they're rejecting a dude to be outright outlandishly mean for no reason. But the response to that is to not then you therefore saying all kinds of wild to women as well. When you do that, I question your mindset. Like, why would you go into that behavior? Why are you trying to breed other people who are hurt? If it was my siblings or my family members and, and, and someone talked to them that way and they were hurt, it would hurt me. You know what I mean? You can't just think of it as people outside. Like, these affect your communities. I just I don't understand this mindset if you guys are just hanging out if she has a girlfriend tell her oh so-and-so looks kind of cute Katie Shaquita or <laughs> Bruh, I, I think I'm done with this video no uh, hey, ça va pas bien, les chum. hey man you know what ça I, va pas bien, les chum, I, 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 I'm glad you threatened us his argument his argument his <laughs> argument is that you are using my content without my permission but I guess he doesn't know what fair use constitute no this thing has been litigated in court a couple times the problem is it's too expensive for most youtubers especially small ones so people abuse the system to make sure that they don't speak on any of this stuff. But if you got the time, take it to court. And I got the time, you feel me? Because I got no bills to pay. Because he's done it to smaller channels. Absolutely. And they can't afford to do Absolutely. nothing. So he gave them strikes. Absolutely. And uh, I don't think you realize it. And I hope one day you look back at some of these videos and a couple years down the line, you recognize how toxic you were being. There's no other way to put it. Let, yeah, that's toxic. I, 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 listen, that's toxic. you know, on this channel, we, we call women out all the time on yep. some of the stuff that they say. Bo -bo. This is the other end of that spectrum. You know what I'm saying? I think this is the reason why Derek Jackson is a business because of dudes like this. Yeah, uh, no, absolutely. He, he's, I, I, but I said it before, he's married Maxson. No, he's, he's, he's a, the opposite. He's he, the nemesis. He's a Luke Skywalker to, to Darth Simpia. Your sense of well-being should not be predicated on the idea that you put women down. should not be predicated on the idea that it's your responsibility to lower other people's self-esteem. Like, if you're doing all that kind of stuff, it's, it's going to be terrible for you. So I don't recommend it. I, I don't know your life. I don't know how it's been. But, and I don't know what kind of examples you had around you. But that's what you have to achieve. That's what you want to achieve. That's 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 the main goal. That's the dynamic you want to go through life with the person that you're being with. That, that's that dynamic. That's what you want. To go about life like this and not have... Maybe that's your thing. Bless your heart. No, they're red-pilled. Huh? They're woke. They're red-pilled. Man, that has nothing to do with that. You want to go in your house and be like you know what and you want to graze your kids like that to be like that and in relationships like that 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 is normal 
That is a normal way to talk to a human being. So you don't respect them at all. That is, this is a disrespect. I don't respect women who are on a pedestal. Bless your heart. Hey man, I always say, man, when you out there fighting the mud with a pig, to everyone who's watching, you look like just like a pig as well. And the thing is that at some, you know what I'm saying? At some point you're going to realize that the pig likes it. So if you guys want to be out there being messy and adding drama to your life, go right ahead. Go ahead. Uh, honestly, when I look at people engaging in drama like that, I think it reflects poorly on them. Mm. When I talk to somebody and they're like, yeah, I told her off, I told this. I'm like, I look at you like, what's wrong with you that you are always in conflict like this? You know, like, what are you doing to bring this in your life where you're fighting with people? Oh when I see drama, bro, I'm trying to walk away as fast as possible. When some girl's yelling at me in the street, she's going crazy, I'm not thinking I'm going to put her, her, her head into the pavement or anything. I'm trying to be like, yo, can I get out of this situation? Because this girl is wild and I don't want to be involved with this. Because I got responsibilities. I got things I got to handle. I got family to take care of. I can't be bothered to waste my time. You got time for this? Ask yourself. Don't you want to put your energy to something more productive? Damn. What a waste of time, bro. What a waste. You think you think successful people are out here trying to put people's pedestals down? Bro, you guys got time. It's crazy. That energy. But anyways, that's it for my advice. Uh, I don't subscribe to any of this kind of thinking. And if you guys think this is great advice, hey, man. Bless your heart. There you go. You can't owe me more than that. You can't owe me more than Mira como goza, mira como morena, mira como todo.